they were on a mission to Ruchuru in North Kivu province to visit a school feeding program, one of the many World Food Program projects Italy supports in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Their journey ended here in the Virunga National Park, several kilometers from the provincial capital Goma. The Italian ambassador, his bodyguard and their driver were killed in a crossfire between park rangers and gunmen during an ambush on their convoy. Several other people were injured. We are activating all the relevant institutions to get to the truth as soon as possible about this cowardly attack that these two servants of the state of ours have suffered from and lost their lives. But beyond the shock of what has happened, questions will be asked as to why the convoy did not have a UN, national police or army escort in such a dangerous area. The authorities in North Kivu say they were not aware the ambassador was in town. WFP says it had been cleared to use that road without escort. The location of this attack is almost exactly the same place where two British tourists were kidnapped in May 2018. So it's kind of real evidence of this long-standing security lapse in the region. Um, it was also very close to where six Virunga guards were killed in last month. This is the first major attack on a big UN organization like the WFP. But the park is steaming with rebels who target game rangers, civilians and other NGO convoys to steal, kidnap and demand ransom. The security problem, however, goes beyond this part of North Kivu. More than 70 rebel groups control much of Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo, extorting villagers and attacking their homes at will. In Beni, north of Goma, many thousands of people, including UN and government soldiers, have been killed and more displaced by the Allied Democratic Forces rebel group. Thousands of soldiers are on the ground battling different armed groups, but with limited success. We're looking at a, a kind of long-standing funding issue for the, uh, for the Congolese army in that area. Um, a lack of kind of uh, security planning as well as strategy when it comes to trying to combat the armed groups who operate in that area. Uh, MONUSCO, obviously the UN peacekeeping force that has been operational there for, for a good number of years, has a lot to answer for with regards to insecurity in that area. Many Congolese in these areas live in constant fear, hoping, but not confident, the forces that have struggled to defeat the rebels for years will one day succeed. Catherine Soy, Al Jazeera.